Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, April 29, 2019. Taking a look at the precipitation over the past one and two weeks, uh, you can see from the image on the left uh, that we have seen normal and a little bit of a normal precipitation across parts of Utah and Nevada. Uh, but further north and south, uh, things have been quite a bit drier over the past seven days. And this is quite a bit of a change from uh, what we've seen over the past month or two, where things were very wet across the entire area. Looking back at the past 14 days, you can see uh, some signatures from that wetter trend we had been in um, with more areas of the Great Basin close to normal. Uh, we still continue to receive snow across the area. You can see over the past 72 hours, uh, many of the higher elevation portions of the Great Basin did see snowfall. However, our snow depth is beginning to decrease as uh, lower elevation areas are melting out. Um, and you can see from the image on the right, uh, not as much snow cover as we've uh, seen over the past few weeks, which you would expect um, as we're almost into May. Satellite this morning shows a uh, weather disturbance moving into the Great Basin, as well as another secondary weather system moving into the southern part of the Great Basin. So for today, again on this um, general weather pattern map, you can see that northern and southern weather disturbance moving into the area. And with those weather disturbances, we will see good to excellent ventilation indices. For today, with those two weather, uh, weather disturbances in the area, we will see good to excellent uh, transport winds and really good mixing heights. Moving to Tuesday, we continue to see the excellent mixing across the area with that weather system moving through the Great Basin. Uh, we will have strong transport winds as uh, well as really good mixing heights. Moving into Wednesday, we start to see a little bit of decrease in the mixing across the western part of the area as high pressure begins to build across uh, the southwestern part of the Great Basin. We will see a decrease in those transport winds across the west as well as lowering mixing heights. So for the next two days, uh, the um, forecast clearing index from the Weather Service in Salt Lake shows a really good mixing trending downwards a bit. Over the next three days, we will see quite a bit of precipitation, mainly across the southern and southeastern portions of the Great Basin. On Thursday, another uh, weather disturbance begins to, make, begins to make its way into the northern part of the Great Basin, leading to another day of good to excellent mixing across much of the area. Um, on Friday, that system begins to move back off to the northeast. We'll see a little bit of a decrease in those ventilation index values. Um, on Saturday, pretty similar as far as the ventilation index. Then finally on Sunday, we will continue to see good to excellent mixing across the area. In that four and five day range, things are looking much drier across the Great Basin. Finally, in the eight to 14 day period, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for a continuation of above normal precipitation probability. And we're also looking at above normal temperatures across the western part of the area. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.